Something weird's happened to me here in Grand Junction, Colorado. You see, each day after the complimentary breakfast where they remember my egg white omelet with veggies and my workout and perhaps just a little bit of pool time before the children wake up and ruin it, I've been living, eating, sleeping, breathing this little musical called Cats and a transformation has happened. And I'm not talking about the carefully applied airbrushed makeup either. Maybe you know this or you don't, but regional theaters all over America get their actors from New York, and uh, that's where the similarities between it and Broadway end. No, I take that back, because you see, we're on Broadway, 36 technicians might be in charge of building this hair, makeup, and set. Here it's a fraction of a people with an even smaller fraction of the amount of money, joined together presumably for the same reason, because they love it. And together we've done everything we can to get the word out about the show we're really proud of, including the world's most awkward television interview. Cats is the ultimate family show. It's been performed in almost every continent in 12 mm -hmm. languages. Millions of people have seen it. Cats now and forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, at being one of the actors involved in this big production, what would you say is just, you know, sets it apart from everything from an actor's standpoint? Uh, you don't have to speak English to like cats. <laughs> yeah, I panic. But it really hit me as I got ready for this local 4th of July parade where 32 of us sans pants walked in the somewhat rain and in front of the most awkward float pairing I've ever seen. I fell a little bit in love with this place and these people. Enough to make a pre-audition for their next musical. I even did something I studiously avoided my entire college and non-mean career when it was required of me and helped to put up the set. Yeah, I have no technical skills, but I can lift things and put them down as easily as the next person because I can't get enough of these crazy, passionate people, and they, wait, they make me feel. I mean, I know this non-union cast is not making enough money to pay their bills, and it is highly unlikely that someone in Grand Junction, Colorado is going to see them in this show and put them on Broadway. So why do they do it every day? It's not just some hobby. Everyone here is working just as hard as I am, and for a lot longer. Mungastrap's a bigger part than mine, and Michael works as the night auditor, finishing rehearsal at 10 o'clock and then working literally all night long. I started rehearsal when the cast was already two weeks in. They'd already learned all the choreography, so the dance captains spend all of their own personal time, day in, day out, teaching me the choreography in a dance studio donated by the choreographer. I witnessed three guys construct all 32 of these crazy cat costumes, wigs, not to mention running the spotlights and building the set. And our director cut short his mandated bed rest from kidney stones to continue putting this show on. All for just three performances. Are these people crazy? The answer is yes. But man, they are my kind of crazy. Some jobs fill your belly, and some fill your bank account. And some fill your soul back up. Once again, I find myself blogging not for shameless self-promotion, well, not just for shameless self-promotion, but so that I can take a piece of all these amazing people with me. I miss my husband, I miss my cats, I miss my city, but I am so happy I am bursting. And we haven't even opened yet. When you sign on for a project like this, there's no way of knowing what you're going to get into. They don't have Yelp reviews for regional theaters. But damn, why can't they all be like this? We're in tech right now, and I've not had the urge to stab a single person. As a cast, I do feel you either fail or succeed as a group, and I really feel I succeeded. This entire community has come out behind us. I've been in two newspapers, I've done two television interviews, and six radio interviews. It's been like media training camp. And yes, some were awkward and awful. But last night, the director signaled me out in front of everyone during the circle before we started the show and said, I'm what it means to be a professional. And I about cried off on my kitty cat makeup. For sure, when we close Sunday, there will be a lot of tears. From me, because I'm an emotional guy, and these people have really touched me. No, do anything about. Wow, 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 wow.
This vlog's taken a while because I don't really know how to say what I want to say to everyone I've been working with here in Grand Junction. So I'm just going to say thank you. Which is where News Channel 5's Danielle Kreuter joins us now live. Danielle, you had the opportunity to get a sneak peek of the show before tonight's dress rehearsal. Five weeks, they've even called in a professional actor from New York to play a role in the production, which they describe as similar to the original Cats, but with a...